This is a presentation on straw bale panel construction that was presented in April 2019 at the West Coast Natural Builders Conference, which was sponsored by the California Straw Bale Construction Association. And in this, we're just simply going to go through some of the most popular and viable uh, prefabrication methods and constructions uh, internationally. Most building in California and uh, in the United States is uh, small custom straw bale homes built by hand. This takes place on a small scale. The buildings are usually unique and with high participation demands from both the owners and the builders. This limits the possibility of spreading straw building into the mainstream market. One of the big advantages of straw bale construction is that it sequesters a great deal of carbon. Uh, it's non-toxic and is thermally quite good, so you get energy efficiency as well as sequestered carbon. So we started looking for new ways to build with straw that would lower the price, uh, gain acceptance with the conventional construction community, uh, and kind of allow us to move into the traditional housing market as well as doing commercial construction. Uh, prefabricated uh, building generally results in a lower cost and a consistent higher quality than building unique buildings on site. So he thought, well, let's look inside and uh, let's go inside and build inside. You get higher quality, more efficiency, an economy of materials because you can stack larger quantities of materials and use them over and over again. You can zero in on what the costs are and because your scheduling is not subject to the demands on the site, including weather, you can have more reliable scheduling. In addition, the panels can be constructed while the foundation of a project is being put in so that they're all ready for installation as soon as the foundation is ready for them. Chris Magwood up in Canada at the Endeavor Center has used a, a process that for owner builders is particularly good um, because it eliminates the need for skilled plastering. In this situation, the uh, bale panels are made and then uh, plaster is floated on top of them and screeded out flat. So you don't have the traditional, it's more like pouring a slab than it is traditional plastering. This, of course, results in pretty heavy panels which have to be lifted in place. The Endeavor Center has also experimented with lighter panels that can be uh, hand placed and moved around on site. Chris Magwood has written an excellent book, Prefab Straw Bale Construction, that um, goes through a variety of small-scale uh, panel construction methods. In Europe, there are a couple of companies, three or four companies, doing large-scale prefab. Uh, the first one we're going to discuss is a company called Eco Cocon, which is uh, based in Lithuania. They've marketed very successfully all over Europe uh, and they've won a lot of uh, different awards for environmental and sustainable building. Um, one of their main features is that uh, you can, an architect can submit plans and uh, they will create full documentation, designs with all of the details and out the other end comes the placed. They use computer controlled cutting for their panels as does Modcell that we'll discuss later. 
um, and uh, stuff the panels not with bales but with kind of loose and restructured straw. With the computer controlled cutting, the panels themselves can be any shape and are easily varied uh, ac according to plan. So essentially, you have kit building. You, they ship packages internationally all over Europe, particularly um, like Germany and uh, uh, Scandinavia. And their structures can be put together by a couple of guys. Um, most of the panels are small enough that they can, they can be lifted in place. And of course, they're not plastered. There's also a company in France that does panel building. And they combine a lot of wood and straw prefabrication. They put their windows and doors into the panels at the factory. Modcell is a company in England who have focused very heavily on uh, carbon sequestration. They have very efficiently engineered panels and they do a lot of commercial applications, some uh, smaller homes and infill systems as well. They've uh, done a lot of research in how to create a panel that uh, will tie up as much carbon as possible. They often do uh, very large panels. This is a large panel being plastered in the warehouse. Uh, Pre-plastering the panels allows you to apply the plaster in very controlled conditions, application and cure. Uh, there are reasons we haven't done this in California that I'll get into later. The panels are put on a truck and brought to the site to be hoisted into place. They also have what they call flying factories where they set up a factory near a job. Uh, for instance, they did a girl's school. Uh, they had a factory near the site where the school was going to be and the girls got time off of school to come and work in uh, stuffing straw into the panels of their own school. There are a variety of things that they've done. They've done a co-housing buildings where they can take advantage of the economy of scale, uh, the guaranteed cost, and also the commitment to sustainable construction. This could also work, for instance, for low-cost housing. Here's a community center done out of straw panels. They do a fair amount of wood siding and so forth. Uh, they're not subject to wildfires, most of the places where they are, and wood also sequesters carbon. Here are some very large, tall, prefabricated panels. And this is a straw bale panel coffee shop. Uh, very efficient, carbon-friendly gathering place. Uh, it's worth noting that there are 14,000 Starbucks in the United States, and if some proportion of those were low-carbon straw prefabricated straw bale, that would be a wonderful contribution. Down in Australia, um, they have been producing panels on a smaller scale for ordinary houses. John and Susan Glassford have been marketing both their plans and their panels to contractors. So basically, uh, if someone commissions a building, uh, they can factory make all of them. They make them small, uh, such that definitely they're easy to load on and off a truck, and uh, people on the job site can hoist them into place themselves. Uh, they build them in a small shop by two workers. They're easy to train. Our model, Skillful Means model in California, is similar except that we prefer the quality control of installing the windows in panels themselves before they go to the job site. 
This allows more precision in the lathing and also more reliability in the flashing elements, which are so important with a three-dimensional window. We have sort of basic panels, a window panel, a door panel, and a plane panel. They're color-coded on the plans, and then we make a cut lift list for each, showing the window dimensions and the heights and uh, all of the details. We also include a lot of 3D drawings with our plans to make sure that, that the elements that are unique to straw bale construction are very clearly communicated, both to owner builders, but also to uh, contractors, professional contractors, who are not used to this kind of construction. So the glass for its panels in Australia can be loaded on a truck and sent out to a job site, uh, sometimes, you know, like far away. They're unloaded and unloaded with instructions, and then the local crew can begin assembling them. Thank you for your attention. There's been a lot of interest in uh, straw bale panel construction, which we continue and, uh, and support, and hope to see this uh, method of construction spread throughout the West and also throughout America. Thank you.